Hello there. Greetings, fellow humans. Here's more orb. Off-world resource space. Uh, let's see. We're going with Malice's third mission. Uh, temple of, or Tomb of the Idols or something, right? Yeah. Okay, then. Here we go. The third one in a row. Going through the Stargate, right? The Fallen Sun Sector, Tomb of we the We have captured Idols. the remaining Seeker forces in the Jakar Quadrant. Interrogation of the prisoners has revealed that the artifacts located in that sector are undoubtedly of Aldar origin. The Seekers had established a base in an attempt to draw on the Aldar's divine knowledge to topple the Night Sky Clan. It was through the Aldar Gate that the Seekers found their treasure. But how were the Holy Lands of the Aldar Gods ever uncovered? The Exarch was profoundly interested in these developments, and we began an investigation into the Seekers' mystifying links to the Aldar. The Seekers of Dorak began destroying the remnants of the Aldar artifacts. This unspeakably vile mistreatment of Aldar wisdom constituted yet another act of treachery, and the Seekers now appeared as a second betrayer of the Malice people. But perhaps the Eldar knowledge was not lost forever. The Night Sky Clan clung to the hope that a Seeker science vessel might have collected and stored the information we longed for. Sometimes an enemy ship is more valuable intact than destroyed. Oh great. So what do we need to do here? Aside from press pause, assist the something, what it what? Game log entry, okay. Alright, so what are we doing? Objectives. Here we are. So it is in the logbook wherever we access that. Otherwise, I just clicked uh, one of these things on the side. So is assist the outnumbered Divinity 1 squadron. And recon vessel must not be destroyed. So that's lovely. Assist them. All pilots who survived the battle will assist in completing the main objective. Wrestling this sector from Seeker Control. Wonderful. So, what do we have here? We have lots of stuff, sort of. So we're over here. And this is presumably the Divinity 1 squadron here. That would be them. They're already fighting. And these guys, okay. Get rid of that. You guys are number one. Maybe I should split them off into... Okay. Yeah, duelists. You guys are going to be your own thing. Ah, the joy. So you're number two. And the fencers of this thing then. Let's see, you're number three. But yeah, we can still click number one. And these, they're all going to be mostly lost. Anyone that's not destroyed, they're going to be part of the rest of the other mission I guess okay so number two well let's see here we can divide this up a little bit more so okay four five six seven Eight. Get, uh, let's see here. Group number three is just the fencers here, so they're gonna go just to those guys there. Let's, um, bring this here. So we're gonna have each of the individual clumpings of the duelists. Oh, crap. Going to individual ones there. So that's Fencers is group three. Duelist 25. Duelist 5. Okay, so group three. Uh, interesting. So that's the total one there. Okay, Fencers is three. Alright. <sighs> Come on, let's look at this. And then, okay, well, fine. Let's see, and it's right click and moving the mouse to over here, pressing 4, alright, you go to that one, 5 to that one, 6 
to that one, seven to that one, eight to that one. All right. And everyone here is going to be aggressive, but I'm not going to make formation. Okay. Well, let's uh, unpause it and see how this does. Oh, my word. They're probably all going to be nice and toasty, right? hope they actually get there in time to help out enough. Put everyone on aggressive. And once they're close enough to actually take on the individual squadrons, I guess I'll see about focusing fire maybe after they take out a couple of individual targets. We're going to be losing ships sooner than later, though. Oh, my word. Come on, get over there. I suppose I can speed this up a little. 34 duelists remaining. Oh, wonderful. Alright, focus on that one. Right? Okay. And you... Put you on auto scan. I'm gonna save here though. Uh, before Doom 2, might as well because that thing's gonna get into trouble probably. But you are group number 9, I guess. I don't know. Okay, now they only have one idiot left to deal with. back over there. Use recon vessel to search and go crazy. But you guys are going to be all in your formations there now. And what do we have here? You're all number one. Okay, small debris. Eh, let's start sending this. So what are we doing? Where's the objective received? Okay, use recon vessel to search the debris field. Alright, you are going to go here, and these guys, okay, not on auto scan anymore. I think it already removed itself from that. So are you going to be turning back around, or do I have, to? okay, you are turning back around just slowly. And that looks like something, large debris. That looks way larger than, you can sort of see it. Okay, you guys also go there, get over there, hopefully before it turns out to be a reaper. It looks like a reaper, doesn't it? Some kind of reaping thing of doom. Whatever that is, it needs more doom, and we're here to provide. Come on. Okay, I should speed this up. Come on. There's got to be way more crap here, right? Uh, group 1 reinforced by what? Are we moving? Where are you going? Wait, what? Go over there. Come on. I thought I had sent it. Evidently I had of it. What the heck? Here, put you on aggressive. Not that it will probably do that much, but yeah, what is this here? And will it indoctrinate every crew? Be like, we are bad bots, robots who are bad. Come on. Scan this thing. Okay, yay, the static. This Aldar artifact is still intact. The Seekers haven't destroyed this shrine, so there's still time to gather information. Data transfer in progress. Progress, 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 progress. 
Our idols prepared this place for us, though we do not know why. One more thing is clear from examining the debris that our idols were mercilessly attacked by their enemies. The Great Betrayer was one of those villains, but there is also evidence of an entirely different type of enemy of doom. Closer examination of the data has revealed that the idols possess magnificent crafts in which they could travel vast distances. The Aldar were familiar with countless systems throughout the galaxy, but we cannot help but feel that they cherish stars above all others. The malice something or another, this sacred area where the idols fought to protect us must be defended against all heretics whose own purposes cloud the common goal of the malice. So yada yada, all that stuff. They're making a memorial, really? Do I have to build that? Is there going to be a... What is search the debris field for any useful information complete? There's all the useful information. Okay. You guys, follow this idiot. Night home. Dispose of all enemies, Crusader 3, but leave the science vessel intact. Repeat, leave the science vessel intact. The Exarch has declared his interest in what might... What it might... Be. Okay, so... Let's put them on neutral. Oh, the joy. Here, alrighty. Saving game, I know. Saving is so lame. Before accidental crispy science. Ah, oh, whatever. SV. Alrighty, so what do we have here? Oh crap, did I lose the recon vessel yet? Take these things on now, please. Where's the enemy science vessel? Just interceptors. Alright, put these on address for dealing with our I click neutral a second time, really. Well, this should be fine on its own, probably. Alright, now to neutral, so if there's a science vessel, I don't make it go boom. Alright, so what's over here? What is that divine path? That's just the uh, other thing, small debris. So we're in this zone. So we have to cleanse this area of all the heretics. Is that serious? Oh, the joy. That doesn't sound like something that I'm going to be allowed to say on this glorious site. Oh, wonderful. So wonderful. Okay, so number one. Uh, let's go here, I guess. In nine, you go with them. You know what? One, you're going to be seven. So now we have seven and nine. Or, uh, do you want to scan this area, actually? Here, you put you on auto scan. There you go. Can you scan the other debris? Yeah, let's see here. See if we happen upon any more bad guys. I am on a course to see my recon vessel go crispy, so that's probably a great idea. Oh, look. There's a gray dot. This is going to be wonderful, right? Extra, extra toasty. There's, oh wait, uh, where's this gray dot? That's just small debris. Really? Okay, well, let's zigzag, I guess. I know it's not as entertaining to not be able to see everything up close. So here's the space geese and the planet behind it. But you know, it would be funny if they made the noises of geese in space, which would just be like not very entertaining, I suppose, because the geese would be like, I can't. Oh well, whatever. They would just be gone, unless you had a spacesuit for geese, in which case they just sound like regular geese and not Final Destination geese. So what are we doing? Are we just going back to the Divine Path thing or something? Where is it? L? 
Okay, Q, W, E, R, T. Okay, T is something near Y. W, I, O, P. L, P is pause, right? A, S, S is this, anyway. Oh, there's a thing over here. Wonderful. Uh, nine, let's get out of here. Crap, okay. That's their recon vessel. Are we supposed to capture that or something or what? Are we not supposed to destroy that? Let's destroy it and see what happens. Is the game over now? The Exarch is deeply disturbed by the loss of this secret vessel and the priceless information it contains. Okay, so we're not supposed... We're supposed to disable and capture the Seekers thing. Alright. So that was defeat. So it is just the recon vessel. So how are we supposed to disable it? Okay, well... You guys make those crispy at least. You know, there's no real explanation how we're supposed to do any of that. Power down, all that sort of stuff. So what are these guys supposed to do? Ram? Kamikaze? Shadow? Are we supposed to just intercept it somehow? Or what are we supposed to do with that? Because I don't understand. And they don't tell me how to do this. So, okay. You want me to just guess? That's lovely. Evasive, custom, set up, use special thing. What's the special thing? Who has a special thing? And what the heck is it? Okay, is it duelist? What's the special weapon that the duelist happens to have? Data book. Okay, data book is here. Where's the tip thing to do this crap with? What are we... Procedure to capture. Okay, procedure to capture. It does have a list here under log. In order to capture an enemy vessel, you must first disable it. The best method to achieve this is to set your combat ships, which are engaged with the enemy, to attack to disable. Combat will stop once the enemy ship has been disabled, represented by a blue shimmer around it. Step 2... Select a troop transport. What? The what? We have a troop transport? Custom. Okay. Huh. So what is all this? Oh, we do have a way to set formation. It's interesting. Custom one. If attacked, all right, always, huh, interesting, tilted X maybe, I don't know, long range engagement, rearm range, retreat range, never, I don't know. Ah, uh, where's the thing to attack? To, what the heck, cancel this, okay. Where are we supposed to do, okay, no, no, no. So that's how you set that up anyway. What, where the heck? <sighs> Come on. Okay, so who, Duelist, five of those guys, okay. Evasive custom. Okay, well, that's... Oh, my word. Why do I... Okay, where the heck do we get this thing set up? Data book. All right, we need to do a thing with capturing them. Capture log. Okay. 
Return engage with the enemy. Attack to disable. Okay, how? How the heck am I supposed to do that? Right click, left click, what the heck? Doctrine, evasive, custom. So it, something has to be here, right? Rearm, retreat. Unarmed vessels. What the heck? What? Retreat damage, retreat range. Rearm range. What? Oh my word. Why can't I find this stupid thing? Oh my word. Combat doctrines. <sighs> Special thing there. Okay. Where do we have the attack to disable thing? Can we just search for it? Game actions. Game action, scanning asteroids, building a mining colony, harvesting mining colonies, building repair, building defenses, satellite gun turret, special ship movements, cloaking and decloaking, shadowing, interesting, hyper jump travel, ramming, kamikaze, rally points and retreating, disable and cap. Okay, so here's the disabling thing. Okay, you can damage enemy ships enough to disable them without completely destroying them. The ship can then be returned to a base to retrieve any enemy technology that might be contained within it. Such damage units will require repairs in order to perform any further actions. To disable an enemy unit, first select the ships you'll use to perform the disabling attack. Next, drag the select enemy units uh, you drag to select the enemy units you wish to attack. Press and hold the control key and then select attack to, to disable in the action box. If this is not an action box action, then the selected unit cannot be disabled. Okay, where's the action box thing once we do that? Let's see, is there an action box? I mean, that's my own science vessel, but... Okay, well, it showed up from here. Let's go here with all my vessels. It showed up somewhere along this area. And then we're going to need to figure out how not to damage it. So I'm going to be pressing pause as soon as I get around to that. Okay, there's the gray dot. Alright, gray dot's almost going to turn red. Okay, so now it's within visual range at least. Alrighty, fine. Let's see, group number eight. And we should have an action thing, right? action attack to disable so it's under here that's the action box evidently attack to disable oh my word so that should work hopefully save here before more doom again come on all right unpausing Come on, where's group 8 that I should have sent there? Are you actually doing what I told you? They seem to be going, okay good, they are going toward it. And they're attacking to disable. The other one shouldn't be bothering. Is this going to be too much firepower? Or is this going to actually work because it's how the command works? Because if it is too much firepower, then it's like eh, maybe just one ship after it then. Come on. Martha. Martha. Alright, come on. Alright, I'm speeding this up since they're taking forever. Come on. Okay, attack to disable. We got it, finally. Yay, that steep learning curve. Crunch, there goes my viewing port. 
So do we have the uh, troop ship that we need to board it with now, or what's this? The Exarch will be very pleased with the outcome of this situation. Proceed to capture the enemy vessel. Oh joy, it is the troop ship, isn't it? Alright, so you are a troop transport. Okay, you guys are number two. Alrighty then. Where's this thing? Over here. Alright, so. Action board. That should be it, right? Here we go. Here we go again. Extra crispy. Oh, my word. Oh, and who are you guys? The commandos. The commando elite. Trip hazard reporting for duty. Wow, they. What the heck? Is that just one commando? Like, wow, this is kind of cool. <laughs> just heating up the outside of that with a plasma cutter or something. I mean, well, yeah, that. Wow, they really thought that through. That's kind of neat. Well, hopefully, I guess their magnetic boots are really powerful. Okay, Seekers were able to transmit a distress signal uh, before they could be subdued. Now we've got incoming hostiles, sonar scanners, the grand something or another. Okay. Alrighty, destroy all fighters of doom. So, okay. Ah, the joy. And, okay then. Maybe set them to aggressive? I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't take out... Uh, let's get him past the captured ship just in case. Number nine, you go here to the divine path. And number one, let's see here. You guys get over here. Get you guys out of there. Something like that. Okay, what are you doing and why aren't you doing much? Alright, you guys are all number one, I guess. Or, who knows. No, you're number one, they're number whatever. And now let's do aggressive mode of doom. Take on everything else. Come on. Get them nice and toasty already. Come on, get it. Everything must be crispy. Get it. Come on, one thing after another. Focus fire, focus fire. Come on, just get him. So let's get that one. Come on, one thing after another. There we go. Now get them all going over that direction. Or do we have to go here first? What is this? Uh, put them on neutral, maybe. Oh, wait. There's more bad guys. Okay, aggressive again. Okay, okay. More hybrid things. How much crap is there gonna be? Am I working in a septic tank or something? Oh my word. I 
mean, this should be the fun part of the game, but it just feels like it's endless. like okay see what that formation is like does it matter does anything matter come on make them crispy Crap. What are those gray dots? We seriously have more freaking gray dots. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's see. I might lose just because I don't have as much stuff as I'd like. Oh my word. Come on. Get these things toasty already. Toast them. Roast them and toast them. Pincers. This is bad news. What do I even have over here? Five fencers remaining. Wonderful. Oh, well, there goes all my ships. I can't deal with this. They're all gonna be gone. Okay, fine. Yep, here we go again. Wonderful. Well, that's great. <sighs> now I have five duelists here. Wonderful. Well, five duelists. I should have brought them over there. I didn't know. Wonderful. Well, you're the new number one, though. That much is for sure. You're going to be aggressive. I should have kept them with the other group. Who knows, we'll probably have yet more bad guys to deal with after this. <sighs> Come on. Oh, whatever. Let's speed this along. If I lose, I lose and I'm going to stop. Because after a point, it's like I stopped bothering to care. Maybe I'll play it in an easy mode if I lose. But, yeah, this is a pain. <laughs> And if it's not fun to me, I don't see it as a game. I see it as another pointless waste of time. Oh, come on. Let's 
deal with them. Okay. So one, let's pick one at a time. That's the best we can do, right? These are probably all just gonna go away, but what can be done? There's four enemy ships and their hybrid duelists versus my crappy ships. Yep, two duelists of mine remaining versus their three. Can we just escape through the Stargate and not bother with this crap? Because they're, they've already won pretty much. They have better ships and I should have brought everything over here. Yep, and now they have two versus mine. Fine. There we go. I've Aided won. Aided by the power of the Eldar relics in their possession, the Seekers of Thorak have overwhelmed us. Their increasingly advanced knowledge of this superior technology will only make it more difficult to oppose them. Did I lose? It is whispered that the Seekers have had contact with the Aldar. As a result, a number of Malice citizens have become sympathetic to their cause. The Exarch grows uneasy. If significant numbers of Malice join the Seekers' movement, clan unity will be seriously disrupted. And a united malice front against the great betrayer will become a futile dream. So is that the defeat thing or what? Yeah, oh, give me a break. Fine, let's replay. Or you know what? No. I'm done with that. Oh, well, whatever. Maybe I will play it again, but... Yeah. So maybe putting all the ships together and pausing more often to focus fire would be a better idea or however it works best with the RNG crap. Whatever though, that's just annoying to me at this point. Maybe I'll keep playing, maybe I won't. If anyone wants me to try again, say so, otherwise, eh, whatever. Well, I'm gonna schedule it for like the 14th of this month, so... If I have anything recorded already, it'll be recorded already. Anyway, take care. Try not to go crazy. Beware. The space hamsters of doom.